Okay, so we analyzed the car industry, or more namely the top three in the car industry, which is Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler. So it's an oligopoly. Uh, we got to this conclusion because they have a differentiated product. There's a few large, uh, not consumers, suppliers, whoops, and they're all interdependent. Just pretend not suppliers, I guess. And then there's many barriers to entry, like you have to have the, you have to have the money to pay for the cost of the factories and the supplies, not to mention that you need to know how to make cars and stuff, so. And then they have a lot of rent seeking and advertising because like they need to try to beat their competitors and also they have enough money to try to persuade uh, lawmakers to keep regulations down to a minimum to keep costs down. And then they're a price maker since there's no legal price that's set on um, car companies. So before we have the cost anal uh, analysis of Chrysler, before Tesla came into the market. So as you can see, their demand and their marginal revenue, their demand is above their average total cost. So we can see with this box here that they're making a large economic profit uh, because Q stars here, which is when marginal cost equals marginal revenue, and then that is the demand for the price to create the price. And then after Tesla comes in, there's a shift in demand because the number of substitutes increases. So demand is going to shift to the left down here, which means that um, their Q star, their, the quantity they supply goes down, and then the price that they charge goes down, which means the amount of money they make goes down. So their economic profit is noticeably smaller than before Tesla came into the market, although it's not an economic loss yet, but they're making less than they would. So, I'm gonna do a close up so she can see the graph. 